What are you going to do? I have no idea. I slept four hours last night, so I just want to go back to bed. With some gloves? No. Going to weed the garden. Hello my loves, if you're new here, welcome to the channel. This week I've been reflecting a lot about how often we get asked how we can teach ourselves to do so many different things. And as we were recording this vlog, we've decided we could share a little bit about our ways into that. Hope you can relate to some of it and get inspired to keep learning and owning new skills. Mm. Yum. I'm making a proper sourdough bread for the first time in my life right now and I thought it would be fun to have a little chat while I'm doing it with you. So here's my fresh starter that I've made from scratch using rye flour and uh, all-purpose flour. I've been uh, feeding it for the last four days now so it's all bubbly and ready to be used in my dough. I was thinking lately of how many different interests we have, Remy and I, and how we've been teaching ourselves very different skills over the years. The way we are navigating knowledge is very much rooted in experience. What I mean by that is that we don't just research the subject that is of interest to us at the moment, but we bring it to action very quickly, experimenting with different methods that can suit our personality and lifestyle. One thing remains though, is that to avoid being overwhelmed by the pool of information that is available online or in books, we tend to look for simplicity, especially at first. This bread, for example, I will often look at how they were making sourdough bread a hundred years ago when there weren't as many kitchen gadgets available. Or I will just go on Google and type how to make the easiest sourdough bread for lazy people and look up what methods I can find this way. Sometimes I experiment and it doesn't always work out, like with this bread that I tried to ferment without a starter for a few days. Um, turns out you cannot do that, <laughs> as you may tell. That's also what we did with gardening. We don't have any particular interest in spending a lot of time in our garden. And what we want is basically just our harvest and eat as much as possible. So uh, we started trying different methods. We started to put mulch and that's basically what we did. We, ke we kept it very simple.
So Noemi, tell me what I am doing. What have we decided to do for the garden this year? <laughs> the less possible. 52 jours. 52 days? Yes. So we are not so late. No. Maybe it's the secret. Being lazy? No, being late. I will just plant all of them. <laughs> so if one or two survive, we will be happy. <laughs> so now, cucumber, squash. What do you want? Uh, I want squash. Where? It's gonna be rock hard. <laughs> People put mulch but in a way too thin of a layer so it just defeats the purpose of keeping the moisture in the ground and keeping the weeds from growing. If you just put a thin layer it's just gonna be even more weeds because of the seeds and the hay. I will do the moral support thing again. Do you remember when we first started the garden, how it was just like big bushes and weeds and all? Yes. So that's why we decided instead of just ripping the soil apart, uh, to just cover it with mulch. And this is what it looks like a couple years later. I forgot to talk about a big advantage of doing this type of gardening. Like this year we didn't have any time to put in the garden, so we this is the only time we've been working in it mostly. And it still isn't in too bad of a shape. Like if it was just an abandoned unmulch garden it would be like impossible to plant anything right now. But we put some mulch like one hour, yeah. two weeks, three weeks ago. Yeah. So we're like four hours into gardening total this season. <laughs> I wonder if there's like other people who have this problem. Yeah. There are cats eating all their onion tails. We're like the worst gardeners we can be on earth, on earth, I think. It's even surprising we can eat. <laughs>
So, oh no, I dropped the bad guy. <laughs> This year we also decided to downsize the garden even more and spend maybe six hours total gardening this year, which isn't a lot. Basically we don't have any time left to maintain it and yet we still have mint, chives, potatoes, raspberries, strawberries, lettuce and all sorts of things growing and we can still eat from our <laughs> lazy garden. All that to say that I think an important lesson we can keep in mind is that when you try to learn something new, try to keep it simple and achievable so you can actually do it. And then your comfort zone is going to expand around that subject and as, as you go, you can add more and more advanced things to it. Our overall week was full of all these little skills and methods we picked up and learned in our journey and that are now part of our everyday life. I hope it inspired you to also follow your natural curiosity and pushes you to just get out and try new things. You could be quite surprised by what you can accomplish this way.
Hello people! Today I'm gonna work on a commission which is quite different from my usual art style and I thought it would be exciting to share that process with you so I hope you like it. Okay so to tell you a bit more about this commission back when I was starting making art I used to do a lot of patterns and mandalas and zentangle types of drawing and I really used to dig that and uh, that's what we are going to do today. It will be a mixture between like a representation of the brain and the spine with a lot of plants and little illustration um, and also a lot of patterns within it. So it's quite different and it's really enjoyable for me to do that. It feels like um, a casual drawing session. So. I typically work in my studio, but for this type of drawing, I needed a big uh, flat surface. So I'm just going to do that on my kitchen table. Okay, so it's been around six hours that I'm working on this drawing. It's not complete yet, but it's going, going very well. And I just thought I'm gonna quickly show you my sketch for this drawing and how different it always turned out to be from the sketch. So that this was my, please ignore all that. This was my original idea for the design and here's what I've come up with so far. 